It's a beautiful day to talk about the 2019 NHL Entry Draft. Today we're talking about three different prospects and how they all relate to one team. And no, we're not talking about one team that drafted each of these three. Nah, spoiler alert, we're talking about a Canucks prospect, we're talking about a Habs prospect, and an Oilers prospect, all taken from 2019's NHL Entry Draft. And we're using the Rogla BK as our center point for how all these three guys are linked. So, today we're talking about the Vancouver Canucks second round pick Niels Hoaglander, the Montreal Canadiens first round pick Cole Caulfield, and the Edmonton Oilers second round pick Raphael Lavoie. It's actually kind of funny how all these guys kind of coincide together into a similar story, but they are indeed involving in different angles, but we're getting into all of them over here. So, let's go over in chronological order just to talk about what exactly is going on. First off, Rogla BK is a team in Sweden. This is an SHL club. They play in the top-tier Swedish league. It's the NHL of Sweden, where the league isn't as good as the NHL, but in terms of a system-to-system -system comparison, the SHL is the best pro hockey league in Sweden, and they're a team that is involved in a discussion with each of these three guys. First off, let's get over with Raphael. Lavoie, an Edmonton Oilers drafted prospect, taken in the second round. He was actually a really interesting guy because back when Lavoie was drafted, a lot of people were kind of surprised to see him slip to where he was eventually selected at 38th overall. Taking a look at all the projections, he was a legitimate first round caliber guy, according to every single scouting outlet here on Elite Prospects. But Regardless, he dropped to the second round, he was picked over by Edmonton, and he was a guy who was pretty good in the QMJHL. In fact, we made several videos about Lavoie before the draft even happened, talking about whether or not this should be a Habs pick or whatever. Long story short, on the scouting report side of things, Raphael Lavoie is a guy who's pretty much good at everything, but he's not amazing at anything. Kind of the jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none kind of guy. His skating, it's okay. His shot, it's pretty good. His physicality, it's pretty good. His playmaking ability, yeah, it's alright. But he isn't outstanding at any one particular thing. So... Coming out of the QMJHL this past season with both the Halifax Mooseheads and the Chicoutimi Sagnier, he was a guy who was a pretty good point producer, a total of 55 games played and a whopping 82 points, so certainly not a bad point producer for a guy who was 19 for the majority of the year. But he was loaned over from the Edmonton Oilers to the Rogla BK earlier this month, and this was because... The Edmonton Oilers are not going to play hockey for a while, nor are the Bakersfield Condors and the AHL, and not to mention the QMJHL guys too. So the point here was to lend over a guy in Lavoie, get him some experience in Europe playing against men because his entire career in the QMJHL, he has only been playing against guys his own age and younger, and actually allow him to experience what it's like playing pro hockey. That's why he was lent over to the Rogla BK, and that is where he spent some time in the preseason. He actually also had his Elite Prospects picture updated to the Rogla BK picture, which is awesome to see. Nice having an updated picture over there. But recently, Raphael Lavoie was actually cut from the team. The announcement came hours before the very first SHL Rogla BK regular season game against the Elenco Pang hockey team. Lavoie was straight up just cut, not good enough to play on the team. So... They cut him away, and he got sent home. This is where our second storyline comes in, because after Raphael Lavoie was sent home from the Rogla BK system, reports started to come out that they still want to have another one of these 2019 guys on their roster. And it looks like they're going after Cole Caulfield now. We're switching gears to the Canadiens' first-round pick, Cole Caulfield. Arguably one of the most anticipated Montreal Canadiens prospects that we have seen in years, because this is a guy who made his bread and butter scoring goals. We talked about how Raphael Lavoie doesn't really have that one defining trait to his game. 
Cole Caulfield, he's got it, and it's his goal scoring. The guy's 5'7", he's not big, but his ability to shoot the puck, his ability to open up space in front, his ability to deke out goaltenders and to get himself into good goal scoring positions, it's unparalleled to anybody in the 2019 draft. And he was labeled as the best goal scorer in this draft for the past year. He's a guy who broke the all-time goal record for the US NTDP, and he tied Alex Ovechkin's goal record at the World U18 Tournament. So, he's a pretty good goal scorer. Add to this, he just wrapped up a season with the NCAA's Wisconsin Badgers, and on a team where they really weren't all too good, like they seriously were not coached to the best of their ability, Cole Caulfield was still a guy who was at half a goal a game, he was a point per game player, and he just took over as the best point producer in the Big Ten Conference. The article that we're taking a look at over here as well, the article talking about how Raphael Lavoie got cut, has a few quotes from Chris Abbott. He is the Rogla's sports director, and the interviewers asked him about Cole Caulfield because word was leaking out that apparently Caulfield is a guy that they want, and he ended up saying no comment. So, just according to the rumors, it appears that Rogla is indeed trying to replace Lavoie with Caulfield because they're trying to capitalize on the uncertainty as to what's going to happen with NCAA hockey this upcoming season. Adding a guy like Caulfield would be a huge goal-scoring boost, and it would be an amazing opportunity for a guy who is 5'7 to get an extended look at competition that is above the NCAA level. Sure, in the NCAA, you're playing against men, but the SHL, you're playing against better men, and that's just kind of how it goes. But who knows if this is actually going to go on. This is just rumor, hearsay, albeit a little bit more reliable as a source than others. But when it comes to what's actually going on with Rogla, hey, that first game that they played against the Linkapang hockey team, they won 6-4. And Vancouver Canucks prospect Niels Hoglander was there, getting himself two points in the process. The guy wrapped up his preseason with the Rogla BK Hockey Club over a point per game, and he was doing really well. There were some GIFs on Twitter starting to circulate about Niels Hoaglander's production, showing off the video footage. You can go ahead, check out Cam Robinson, Chris Faber, all these guys to see for yourself what Hoaglander has been doing. But he was a really good point producer in the preseason and in the regular season in the first game played, he had himself 11 minutes of ice time and he had two assists. So quite literally, the guy is at two points a game on pace to destroying his last year's worth of point production with 16 points in 41 games in 2019-20, but hey, the Vancouver Canucks signee is indeed doing his thing, and we'll be seeing what exactly happens as the year goes on. And because we're on the subject of Hoaglander, everybody is always asking me in the streams, hey, when's Hoaglander gonna make the NHL? Is he gonna do it this year? Is he gonna do it next year? Let's just get this out of the way right here. I think that Hoaglander is a guy who probably would be able to play in the NHL. He would. I think as a bottom six, middle six, grinder-like forward on the penalty kill, he could probably find a way to hold his own, but not really for an extended amount of time. But I don't think he's playing in the NHL this year. Let's just say that right here. I think that when it comes to the development path of Anils Hoaglander, I think the Vancouver Canucks are probably either going to give him the full season in Sweden once more, or bring him over to the AHL and have him play in Utica. We did have some word earlier on asking the question on whether or not Hoaglander would actually be okay in staying with Utica, but that's up in the air. We don't really know for sure. However, if I just have to put my foot in the ground and say it, I don't think Hoaglander is playing in the NHL. I think he probably could, but I don't think that development-wise it would be the best decision for him. I think it would be much better for him to just go back to Sweden, totally take over as a top six forward for Rogla, a guy who can take over and be one of the top point producers on his team and give him that feeling of success, allow him to experience what it means to be one of the better players on your hockey team in a pro men's league before bringing him over to Utica or the Vancouver Canucks. So if I had to personally put a timeline on my own speculative opinion as to when he will make the NHL, I think it's probably going to happen in about a year, but obviously I could be proven wrong. He could probably make the jump sometime in the next few months, who knows, but if I'm a betting man, I would probably say he makes the NHL next year, despite being capable of playing this year, but in a development role, it would be much better for him to go back to Sweden or just do something else in a lower tier league. So, talk to me in the comments if you agree with that sentiment. Am I being a little bit too harsh here? Do you think he probably should be in the NHL by now? 
Also in the comments, talk to us about Raphael Lavoie, Edmonton Oilers prospect getting rejected from the Rogla BK hockey team. And Habs fans, talk to us about Caulfield in the comments, what you think about him being the next target for the Rogla BK team as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, whether you are an Oilers fan, a Habs fan, or a Canucks fan. So should I trust the 99 and bye.